Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for a really, really epic Bakugan. Yeah, Bakugan Battle Planet unboxing models. My phone's not a jerk. Um, so we've got this bad boy right here. This awesome Bakugan Battle Planet uh, Garganoid Ultra card collection pack. So obviously I've opened the uh, the Maxotor one and I've opened the Gortheon one as well. You can go and check out those unboxings. So yeah, man, this is the third one that I got. Obviously, just get one of each of them, you know, because I want the, like, jumbo card and such. But, yeah, they're coming out with usually three per, like, TCG wave. So, three they had for Battle Brawlers, and they've got three for Resurgence. And it's the artwork for those, you know, Bakugan that they have, you know, for, for the art. So, yeah, man. Anyways, I guess it's pretty simple. Um, three packs. The jumbo card, two promotional Baku cores that you can use, obviously, in a deck. And then it shows out the Baku storage case and the battle arena. I still definitely want that battle arena because um, it looks so amazing in red. I got the blue one, but I really want the red one plus that face. So, yeah, man. Anyways, time to open this bad boy up and see if I'll get lucky with any of the cards in here. Because, like, um, the... The Maxotor one, I got some serious luck with the cards. Uh, still got pretty good pulls with the uh, Gortheon one. And now, time to see how the Garganoid one is. You know, I obviously had to save this one for last because Darkest. Because, you know, Darkest Brawler. I'm definitely a Darkest and Arlis Brawler because they're my favorite factions. And just, yeah, I mean, I got them even tatted on my arm and such. But, yeah. <coughs> but, let's see if we can get it out of there. There we go. Got one core. Then we got to get the other core out of there if I can anyways. Yeah, there we go. Got that core. Then we got the three card packs. Set those off to the side. And then we got the promo card. So, we'll get into the promo card first, because why the heck not? Obviously, you can't use this really in battle, because, yeah, it's just for promo. Um, but it looks so, so sick, man. Darkest Garganoid Ultra Hollow Hex card. Looking so, so cool, dude. It comes with, obviously, the shield, and it comes with a fist. B-Power 300, damage level of 5. But looks so, so cool with the hexes around it. And this promo card just looks, looks so, so sick. All right, so I'll set that out to the side. And then we've got the cores right here. So we've got the shield, which plus 250Bs, which that's a really good one. And then we've got the fist, which plus 100Bs. And if it's darkest or aquas, it gets plus 3 for the damage. Which that could be really useful in a darkest aquas deck for sure. So... Yeah, man. And then, obviously, the rule book right there. Set that off to the side. Uh, and then we're going to get into the card pack. So I'm going to save the Garganoid one for last, because obviously that's the star of this. So we're going to start off with the Maxator one, then we'll go in with Gortheon, then we'll go in with Garganoid. So, you know, just the order of, like, the order of how I open them, too. So let's see if I can get this. Boom. And got it there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to open them all at once. So, yeah, it'll be that. And then we'll get into this pack. Because why not? I haven't opened, like, all of them in, like, one gigantic just swoop for these. And I feel like it for this one. So we're just going to do it. And plus, like, the sake of time, you know. Boom. Alrighty, man. Let's see if I get any crazy pulls in here. I don't know. Like, I, I might. I might have some good luck. Let's see. Shadow Cloak. Five to get it out. Uh, plus ten. But if it's holding a shield, it gets the double strike. Which, that's pretty cool, dude. Uh... Then we got, yo, Mantanoid, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, Diamond Mantanoid, six to get it out. Beat power of 1,300, damage level of six. Diamond Mantanoid's actually pretty good. Um, then Diamond Web of Ultra, beat power 1,500, damage of 15, eight to get it out. Also pretty dang good, like 1,500, man. Uh, Ventus Hyper Serpentis, beat power 900, damage of four. If it lands on a fist, it gets plus six, which that's pretty dang good. Uh, Maximus Gortheon for Ventus, beat power of 1,000, damage of 12, 7 to get it out, and you can re-roll with it. Um, Darkest Petrify, minus 5, 2 to get it out, which is pretty good. Hyper Dragonoid, B-Power 700, damage level 4. You play it, you give it Bakugan plus 300. So it could even be this, like a Bakugan. It doesn't say like any other Bakugan. You can give it to this, um, which is pretty crazy. So 1,000 and 4 and 2 to get it out, which is pretty awesome. Then Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, B-Power of 1,000, damage of 10. If uh, it has two or more Baku cords attached to it. It gets plus 1,000. I still need a Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. I can't find one anywhere, and I really, really want one. I need uh, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra and Diamond Nilius. Those are the two that I need. But, yeah, man, still looks so, so cool. Then we got, yo, the Awesome Rares Hyper Garganoid Ultra. Power of 800, damage level of 8, 4 to get it out. And Victor, draw cards until you have as many as your opponent, which that could be really useful, dude, for sure. Like, with Fury, you know. Um, like, in Fury deck, you might not have that many cards or... 
you know, if you really, really need it, you can just draw. And if your opponent has a lot of cards in their hand, you get a lot of cards. So that's really useful. Um, yo, Blinding Ink is the Hex, which is really, really sick, dude. Look at that. Negate an action card that costs three energy or less, which that's pretty awesome. Um, then we got Hyper Mantanoid right there. B power 700, damage level 3, 2 to get it out. Then we got Hyper Pegatrix, B power 800, damage of 10. You can reroll with it, and it's 4 to get it out. Then Darkest Howl, uh, plus 400 Bs, or you can sacrifice for 1,000. Pretty useful, dude. I like Darkest Howl. Then Titan, Crack Helios, Old Shower, 800, damage level of 8. And that artwork looks so cool. 4 to get it out. Then, yo, Titan Mantanoid, hello. Uh, 4 to get it out, B power 900, damage level of 5, and you can reroll with it. Then we got Diamond Cindius, B power 700, damage level 14. A lot of damage, not much power though, but that compensates for all that damage, dude. So, yeah, pretty cool. And Diamond Cindius looks awesome. Rock Riser, flip card. Um, then we got Karmic Balance, plus three Frost Strike to a Chaos Bakugan, um, which is, yeah, and three to get it out. Then, yo, Hyper Gorthion Ultra, B power 500, damage level four, one to get it out. And if you're the victor, you can discard a flip card for plus four. Then, yo, we got a Hollow Blaze. That's pretty awesome. Plus 10 for the damage and 4 to get it out. I like Blaze a lot. It's a really, really nice card, you know, for Pyrus decks. Then we got Divine Inspiration, plus 7, 4 to get it out. Then Energy Draw, 2 to get it out, plus 500. Pretty useful for a Chaos deck. Chaos Blessing, also pretty useful. Plus 4, and you can re-roll. And then Spirit Guide, 3 to get it out, but plus 4, and you can re-roll. Then Darkest Slicer, plus 200 if it's holding a fist, plus 3. Really good for a fist deck, uh, for sure, like a Darkest Fist deck. So, yeah. Then Aqua Splash, plus 1,200 Bs, 5 to get it out. A lot of power with that. Darkest Hyper Pegatrix, B power 500 damage of 9, and you can re-roll with it. Uh, 2 to get it out. Then we got Hyper Nilius Ultra, yo. Check that out. B power 500 damage level 8, but if it lands on a shield, it gets plus 800, which that's pretty wild, dude. That's really, really sick. Um, then we, yo, I pulled an elite. Let's go. I got Tertonium, man. I don't need any more Tertonium, so I'm definitely gonna put this out to the side for like trades and such. But yeah, Titan Tertonium Ultra, dude. Bakugan Elite. B power of a thousand, damage of fifteen. Uh, you can pretty play it. You have to discard your hand. This with Howl Core, you know. Obviously, that's the first deck that I made, and it seems like there was a lot of like inspiration for that. Um, just Tertonium Ultra and the Howl Core Ultra together. Um, you know, makes for a really good like Fury deck because it makes it where you discard your hand but then if you have enough energy the next turn like bruh you better get ready uh just so so cool so yeah man and then hyper pegatrix ultra dude check out that hollow b power 500 damage level seven if it has two or more baku uh baku cores attached to it, it gets plus 500 so it would be um a thousand and seven right out of the gate which is pretty sick but yeah um, just having a, uh, you know, Evo for Pegatrix Ultra. I think this is the first one that I pulled, but it looks so, so sick, dude. Obviously, you can see, like, the roads in the back and such. And it just looks so awesome. That artwork looks really, really sick. And I love how Pegatrix stands out with it. So, yeah, man, overall, really good pulls out of this, so... You know, for the rares, I uh, see Hyper Pegatrix Ultra Hollow, Titan Tertonium Ultra, which is definitely the gem. Uh, then we got Blaze. Yeah, Hollow Blaze, then Hyper Gargonite Ultra, and then Blinding Ink hollow so yeah man overall not bad pulls from this um definitely looking for more, more resurgence my area still doesn't have any i have to go and check my local stores as soon as i can i see just working a lot uh getting back from all these trips and stuff but like luckily not having like as many hours so i'll be able to actually go and check my local store um hoping that they have resurgence because i definitely need resurgence like i said battle brawlers i might get some more battle brawlers cards because there's some good deals on them um if you can find them in your store some of them have like deals because they're trying to get resurgence out um and i'm definitely looking for resurgence but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this epic bakugan battle planet or bakugan resurgence uh darkest garganoid ultra card collection pack unboxing if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if, and if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out here.